the computer. Hey guys, so today we are still talking about changes from heat and we are going to be melting some butter. Um, in scoop pad, no, not scoop pad, seesaw, you're going to have a picture, a document that looks like this. And so you're going to talk about the physical state of the butter before it melts. You're not really going to get to see it during the melting process because it's going to be in the microwave, but you can definitely write or draw a picture about what you think is going to happen. And then we're going to write and draw about the physical state after we've melted the butter. So this is in your seesaw. So here is what our butter looks like before we melt it. It's a stick. It has a shape, a firm shape. I would call it a solid. It's not like squishing in my hands. So I'm gonna take it and I'm going to put it in this bowl. I use butter when I bake. Sometimes I use it when I cook. Ask your one of your grown-ups what they use butter for. Maybe they don't use butter. Maybe they use something else and they can tell you what it, the other thing that they use is. So we have opened our butter. We have our stick and I am putting it in my bowl. And as you can see, it just is kind of hanging out there. It's still a solid. It's a little I can feel it coming off of my hands, almost like a lotion. So now I'm going to put it in the microwave and I will bring it back and show you what it looks like once it's melted. So I'm back with my butter and I did it for 30 seconds and you can kind of see it's kind of melty. There's still some of it that's kind of together but when I stab it, it's like really drippy and liquidy. And it was, uh, yeah, you can see it dripping off, which it did not do before. So we have our before when it was solid, and now we have our after where it's kind of like soft and squishy and liquidy. So do not forget to write down on your paper what we saw before what you think happened during and what it looked like after and all of this can be found in your seesaw bye guys